breaking news regarding an incident last night at Woodbine Beach. So here's the video on your screen now. You can see it. You can hear the fireworks crackling. You can hear people screaming as well. to our next episode of Talk the Things podcast. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that I wanted to speak about not too long ago. You know, I had the idea, but I never wound up speaking about it because I knew that Victoria Day was going to pop back up and that people are going to be busting fireworks and that some foolishness was going to go down for me to have an episode to talk about. So I was waiting for it. And, you know, Victoria Day just passed like two days ago at the time of me recording this and some shit happened, bro. So the way I'm going to do this episode is I'm going to break down a few different stories, not much, but just a few different events that happened on Victoria Day so that you guys can kind of get an idea and a feel leading up to what happened this year but just a quick brief and overall victoria day in canada is i think it happens to do with queen victoria you see like how queen elizabeth just did now we have elizabeth day in september so people go out they just shoot the fireworks people go to the beach they go to the parks they do it in their complex um but it's, it's kind of weird because some like places say you can't do them in parks you have to do them at your house but then in my some like where we live they say you can't do it in your in the area you have to go to a park but in some places you can't do that at a park so there's weird laws surrounding around it no matter what people bust fireworks say crazy no matter what you're going to hear it on victoria day this whole weekend actually you will start to see the kaboom fire trucks not the fire trucks at the truck box you'll see them parked out in different places so this is something that always 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 happens every single year but i wanted to go back to may 2022 and i'm we're gonna go to woodbine beach because woodbine beach is a popular place where a lot of people go um on victoria day to bus fireworks it kind of became like a I don't want to say a Toronto culture type of thing because I don't know how long they were doing it before. But people always talk about it. This time of year, you will see memes on TikTok and Instagram with people, you know, talking about it or bringing it back up. So it always happened. But in this year now, so May 2022, there was two people shot, two people robbed with a gun. People were shooting at the police. Somebody shoot up the police horse with firework, and that's not a gunshot. But the two people that were shot in the beginning, they were actually shot with gun. And a person that, the two people that were robbed was robbed with gun, not firework. But the people that were shooting at the police and the police horse, that was firework. So I want to play you guys a news video, and I want to play you guys the video of the people shooting up Woodbine so you guys can see how it just gets around these time of year, and I'll be right back. Breaking news regarding an incident last night at Woodbine Beach. For more on this, we go live to the scene. CP24's Beatrice Faceman is standing by. Be, we're learning more about what happened. Uh, and also there are officers from 55 Division remain here on scene at Woodbine Beach Park after what was a wild night here last night. Uh, there was two people injured in a shooting, another person injured in a stabbing. And I'm now learning three Toronto police officers were also injured here at Woodbine Beach Park between 9 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. last night. Let's start with those injuries injuries to these officers. Initially, I'm told at nine o'clock, an officer was treated here in this uh, beach area for a leg injury. He was he or she, this officer was taken to a hospital with minor injuries. And then at 1125, I'm being told an officer suffered what's being called a firework injury. Uh, they were transported to hospital with minor injuries. And then Roughly uh, 20 minutes later, a third officer was treated for a minor scrape uh, here at the scene by paramedics. This third officer was not transported to hospital. When it comes to the other incidents, uh, these two shooting victims, one of them found here at the scene by paramedics taken to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. A second shooting victim arrived uh, themselves in hospital to receive treatment. And Toronto police also called here for a stabbing as well. That individual also transported uh, with non-life-threatening injuries. But I can tell you, according to our crew who was here last night initially for that first shooting call, Chanel, uh, there was chaos here. There was people firing, according to Bakari Savage, who was here along with a, a camera op. Uh, there was people shooting Roman candles at one another, shooting fireworks at one another from vehicles at each other. And so the scene was so chaotic that our crew was actually not able to get out of their vehicle to shoot any of this footage or talk to any of the people that were around here. All right, so you guys just seen that. 
Now this year came around and I seen a video that I was looking for and cannot find it for some reason. But supposedly a whole block burned down. I don't know which one it was. I don't think it really like burnt down to the ground like fires where the house is burnt down because I was looking on the news and I never seen nothing like that. But I, it, the place was full of smoke because if you know how fireworks are, even if you just bust one of them, there's enough smoke. So when you people are having this firework, this firework war, there's like... I don't even know. You can see almost 50 of them going off at all one time. So you can imagine the smoke that that produced. A place that was like a whole war zone for real. But now I want to go to the neighborhood. And I think this is downtown. I think it's called Christie Pots. And that, yeah, it must be. It's a downtown neighborhood. And there was a big firework fight that happened there. The people in the area were acting scared. And, you know, I don't know why everybody acts scared and complains. Because it's fucking Victoria Day. Yeah, they might be annoying or whatever. But people bust like, bro, fireworks bust no matter what. It's like... On New Year's, they're going to complain that you hear fireworks. But anyway, people are complaining, calling police, saying that the fireworks were going off when they were sleeping and all type of stuff. And there was very young kids outside. I want to play you guys a video so you guys can see how it actually was. I'm going to try to look for the videos. I can put it in there. But I've seen some videos in the news clip. If I don't put the video in there, look on the news clip that I'm going to play after. And then you guys will see it. So I'll be right back. A pretty shocking video from the Christie Pitts Park area last night shows fireworks being shot by individuals along the stretch of Bloor and in the presence of police. Yeah, just a wild scene. TV Twin Horse Beatrice Hazen is live uh, from the scene this morning here, significantly quieter this morning, Beatrice, but also you're trying to get some answers as to what happened here because, as you pointed out last time, so many police from so many divisions called in. No question about it, Nick and Courtney. There was a big police presence here. I don't know if it was a case of police getting overwhelmed at first, maybe uh, didn't anticipate the fact that we would see this kind of thing happening here at Bloor and Christie. Uh, but it seems like police were kind of just hanging around watching it happen. And in fact, uh, despite the fact there were fireworks flying across Bloor Street here, there was no alert put out, no tweet put out by police, at least alerting people to the fact that this was happening. So here's the video on your screen now. You can see it. You can hear the fireworks crackling. You can hear people screaming as well. Uh, not clear how many people were actually involved in this, if they're teenagers or just young people, but uh, just in general, you can see there were a lot of people out and about in the streets uh, near Bloor and Christie. We had our freelance uh, videographer who captured uh, this footage. According to him and what he observed, that this happened actually over a two-hour span, he believed, from 9 p.m. till 11 p.m. So that's a whole lot of time for police to kind of be hanging around, allowing this to happen, if that's in fact true, and not A, making arrests, B, clearing the way, and making sure that people are safe. Because there was also cars coming down Bloor Street, obviously a major artery here in the city. So cars coming down, uh, fireworks being shot at vehicles, and there's one shot actually where a firework that's in the ground is pointed at a police cruiser, and it's a sergeant's vehicle, by the way. Uh, pointed at a sergeant's police cruiser and appears to be hitting this cruiser. Uh, when it comes to police, there's uh, some shots as well. A couple of officers on bikes. You can see fireworks in their hands. So it looks like they managed to uh, seize some of the fireworks from some of the people participating in this chaos. As far as our videographer observed, uh, he didn't see any arrests. Doesn't mean that there's not any that happened, but I can tell you, Nick and Courtney, so far police have been uh, very quiet on this this morning. I've called. All right, you guys just seen that. So, you know, I mean, I want to get into my thoughts about this now because at times I feel like people are being extra. And I feel like at times, you know, um, people might really be disturbed by it. But the whole firecracker war thing, even though it's dangerous as shit, it's in a way it's fun yeah you know for young kids grown people aren't gonna like that especially for the innocent people that are just walking around you know what i mean there's people that are i don't think walking around with their children that late at night but there is grown people that don't want to get licking their face with firework because i know a nigga that's face is disfigured because one bus in his face and that's why i don't even hold those no more i just put them on the ground but i will still shoot a couple firework but people don't like it and the reason why i say a lot of people are extra is because for instance where we live now there's some people that carry on the most call out type of police it's like bro it is a holiday they say you can't go to the park because you go to the park there's bare police presence like the people are saying on the news they have early police presence police is taking away the firework them from people um 
I, I, I don't know where you're supposed to do it if you can't do it in a public park and you can't do it in a beach. You can't do it in a residential area. We bust the fireworks, they're calling police. Everybody wants to call police. They say, bro, what are you calling the police them for? It's just firework. We're not even shooting it at each other more time. There's just people just shooting them just to shoot, you know, for local kids to see. And people will call the police. It's like a local abandoned area behind where we live. And we used to go over there, go shoot them. And people are getting upset. You can't shoot the pack. Like, shut the fuck up. But, you know, I don't know. It, it, it depends on where you're doing it. Because, like I said now, these kids are downtown, outside. And there is people that are, you know, shooting it at innocent people's cars kind of crazy. They look up reason for shooting it at the police still. But shooting up the police car and them stuff. But, you know, people that are in their house in these tall, tall condos, bro, you live downtown. It's a, it's a holiday. You're going to hear fireworks. There's no reason to be bawling and crying. I guess if it goes over a certain time, but... What can you do? Like I said, it's a holiday. It always happens. It's annoying as hell, but it always happens. There's really not more. I don't see the point of always calling the police. And that's why enough time police don't even come out to certain areas. I've seen some people complaining, saying that the police never came. Well, because there's not much that the police can do. By the time police come, the firework is done, boss. It only goes out for a couple seconds, you know, if they're not having a full-out war. But I want you guys to let me know what you think about this. Did you did you used to do them in, like, you know, the wars then when you were younger? I used to do them. Let me know if you used to do them. Let me know if you don't like them and why you don't like them. Just keep the discussion going in the comment section. And we will talk next time on Talk to Things Podcast. Hey, 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 hey.